Hi everyone, Ian here from the Media Center, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up the Nucleus Nano Wireless Follow Focus. In the box, we have the main follow focus hand wheel, the motor, a base plate with a 50 mil rod extender, two batteries, two lens gearings, three Allen keys, one micro USB to USB cable, a micro to micro cable, a DTAP power adapter, and a charging cable. First, attach the nano base plate to the underside of the Metabones adapter with the quarter inch screw thread. Then attach the supplied 15 mil rod to the base plate using the Allen keys provided. Alternatively, depending on the camera you're using or additional peripherals you wish to attach, you can also use the matte box base plate and rods which attach directly to the underside of the camera. Next, attach the gear ring. When doing so, ensure the lens is set to infinity and that any excess teeth from the ring are as far away from the motor as possible. This ensures the excess part of the gear wheel won't become caught in the motor as you adjust the focal point between the minimum and maximum distance. Following this, attach the micro USB to the USB of the nano motor, then connect the opposite end of the cable to the Anton USB DTAP adapter. This then connects to the FS5 VLOC DTAP port. When the cable is connected, the motor will automatically power on. Note, if using the Blackmagic Pocket 4K, connect the supplied motor to the blind spot power junkie. Once powered, attach the motor to the 15 mil rod. At this stage, do not connect the teeth of the motor to the gear ring. Set up the motor to the designated channel by double tapping the up and down arrows. The channel information will appear on the display screen. Once the motor is turned on and the channel is set, insert the supplied battery into the hand wheel. Note these batteries are not double A's, so only use the ones provided in the case. As a side note, to charge the batteries, connect the plus and minus charger points to the corresponding plus and minus icons of the battery and connect the USB port to a compatible three pin UK charger. When charging, a green LED should pulse and once fully charged, it should stay permanently green. To power on the focus wheel, press the record button. Match the channel number to that of the motor by using the up and down arrows on the hand wheel. The Nucleus Nano has two primary modes, master and slave. Master means the hand wheel controls the Nucleus Nano motor, whereas slave removes the motor control from the Nano's hand wheel and allows control via the larger Nucleus M grip or hand unit. To switch between these two modes, double tap the set button. For our workflow, you'll want to ensure you're in master mode. There are two types of calibration available. Automatic for lenses with hard focus stops and manual for lenses with infinity focus wheels. The majority of our lenses have infinity focus, which means we'll be performing a manual calibration. Regardless of which calibration process you use, always make sure the hand wheel and motor are on the same channel. For manual calibration, you should initially ensure that the motor teeth are not touching the lens gear teeth. First, position the lens at its minimum focal distance. After this, turn the focus wheel clockwise until it reaches the end of its throw. You'll notice the motor teeth will also turn at this point as they're connected to the hand wheel by the same channel frequency. Once the lens and focus wheel are at these positions, connect the motor teeth to the lens. At this stage, double press the cal button on the hand wheel. This will set the closest focus point. The hand wheel should vibrate to confirm this. Once the first point is set, turn the focus wheel anti-clockwise very slowly. The motor teeth will also turn following your input. Do this until the lens reaches infinity. Once this point is reached, double press the cal button again, and this will set the end focus. This means you will now have the lens calibrated 
to move from the minimum focal point to the furthest focal point. If done correctly, the hand wheel's LCD will range between 000 and 999 at its furthest clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation point. You'll also be able to set a shorter focus range for specific distances. To achieve this, first choose your starting focal point, point A, by rotating the focus wheel and then press set. The letter A will appear on the wheel's LCD display. Following this, rotate to your end focal point, point B, and again press set. The letter B will appear after A on the LCD, and you'll now be able to move between these two specific points of focus. To remove this custom range, tap set again, and A and B will disappear. When free is visible on the LCD, you'll have the full range of the focus throw. Now, as with any piece of technology, sometimes technical issues may occur. The most well-known being that the motor may jump from one end of the focus range to another very quickly, meaning you are unable to perform precise and intricate movements. If this happens, it's normally because the focus wheel starting point is either not sitting at 000, or the end point is not sitting at 999. You can view these numbers on the motor's LCD screen. So to correct this, press and hold the up arrow and this will take you into the menu settings where you can then use the up and down arrows again to move through a range of tabs. From here, navigate to the calibration knob and enter this mode by double tapping the up arrow. Once here, turn the focus wheel clockwise until it reaches its end point and double tap the down arrow to set the new calibration. If it's worked, your start and end point should read 000 and 999. You can also use the up and down arrows to alter any additional settings in the menu tab. One press on the down arrow will change a setting and one press on the up arrow will confirm the change. Vibration can be turned on or off for haptic feedback when setting calibration points. Bluetooth can be enabled for apps. The focus wheel knob can be reversed if preferred and a system restore plus firmware information is also available. Hopefully this gives you a good breakdown of how to use and set up the Nucleus Nano wireless follow focus. If you have any questions regarding any of the things I've talked about in this video, please don't hesitate to come and see any of the technicians in the media center. Until next time, keep shooting, keep being creative, and we'll see you soon.